What's up guys, it's me Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Sydney and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my iPhone X. So I have the iPhone X in space gray and um, I'm going to be showing you guys what it's like, what some new features are to it and just some other little things that I found out for myself. Um, yeah, I did this video when I got the iPhone 7. I think I think I did but I'll leave it down below I know for sure I did a what's on my iPhone but like I said I'll be sure to leave that down below and I'll also show you guys what is on my iPhone X so I'm not trying to brag at all throughout this video um, these videos are very popular and if you want to get this phone you might be watching a lot of these videos now so I decided to give you guys my own personal opinion about it um, this is my opinion and yeah, I haven't posted in about two months because I started school and when I started school I just didn't get back into making videos but now that I'm in school I'm fully aware of what's going on and I'm like into school now. I will be posting videos for you guys at least one video a week, sometimes two depending on what kind of events are going on but um, yeah, I'll update you guys whenever. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. Um, but first I'm going to show you guys some features. Here's the back of the phone. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well. I have it in space gray. Um, my case is, it's like a black bumper with a clear background. So what you're seeing now is the back of the phone. And here is the camera. It looks just like the 7 Plus, but vertical. And then the front is just all glass. Um, it has a power button as well as a volume button and a little vibration switch. To turn off the phone, you have to hold the volume button and the lock button at the same time and that will pop up. To take a screenshot, you do a volume button and the power button and it will screenshot it. And then for Siri, you just hold down this button and Siri comes on. So, to unlock your phone, all you have to do is swipe up and put your face ID in or your password um, I have both so um, yeah then to get to your home screen say I'm on I don't know Pandora all you have to do is swipe up like that and you go to your home screen for the um, notifications you just swipe down like you normally have and then you go like that in order to get to the what's it called taskbar so I'm going to go ahead and start recording my phone screen. What you are looking at right now is my home screen. It's me and Vontrez. I'll leave a video right there in the iCard of me doing his makeup. Um, we've been together for two years. This was on our one year anniversary. Anyways, so now I'm going to show you guys what I have on my phone. So this way it shows like the area I live in so I'm not going to go all the way that way. Um, here down at the bottom, I have the phone, Safari, Mail, and um, Messenger. Sorry, I keep getting messages. Um, then I'll go into my apps. I keep them all on one screen just because I like how it all looks neat and together. And I also like when they take up a full row rather than like one app being missed. It's crazy, but I like it like that. So I have Photos, Camera, FaceTime, and the Apple Store. And then here I have extras, which is like settings, calendar, weather. On the first page is most of the stuff that I use. And then as we go over it, stuff that I don't really use. Um, then I have my social medias. I have Instagram, which you guys should go ahead and follow me at Sydney underscore Joe. I also have Snapchat. You can add me on Snapchat if you like. There's my Snapchat code. Just screenshot and put that into your Snapchat or you can add me at sydney.joe. Um, I have YouTube. Make sure that you guys are subscribed and press the little bell and you'll be notified every video I post. I have Facebook which is person personal and then also Facebook Messenger that goes along with it. I have Musical.ly which you guys should be sure to check out my Musical.ly. I want to make a video about how I make Musical.ly. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I can do that. 
My musically is Sydney underscore Joe. Um, I have Group Me, which I use for like cheer and Young Life and groups like that. I have YouTube Studio, which helps me keep up with my revenue, comments, and stuff like that, as well as Wish, which is a shopping um, app. I have games here. I have Tiny Tower, which is basically you keep up with this tower that you have. I have Dancing Line, which is fun. Um, you guys should check out these games. I have 2048, Falling Balls, and Sing, which I've never actually used. Um, let's see. Okay, in this next, um, what's it called? Category app thing. I have school. This is all the things I use for school. So I have Quizlet, which helps me with studying, obviously. I have Google Slides, where I make PowerPoints. Edmodo, which I use for school, keeping up with classes. It's basically like a Facebook page, but for your classes. I have the Kindle Amazon app, which is for whenever I buy books on Amazon that I have to use for school. I have the calculator just because it's easier for me to find it there. Um, Campus Portal, which we use to look at our grades and see what you make on different assignments. I have Photo Math, which if you need help with math, this is a really good app to use. And then I have Remind, which is also known as Remind 101. And this is basically where your teacher can send like group messages out. So you can, I don't know, or not even just your teacher, but different like associations and stuff. Um, in this next folder, I have different editing apps, which it aggravates me that there's only one app right here, but whatever. I have 360 Flight, which is for my drone. I have the GoPro app, which is for my GoPro. Blur Editor, which I use to make thumbnails. I made a video on how I edit my thumbnails. Be sure to check it out in the little iCard right there. Um... I also use the GoPro app to upload videos from my GoPro to my phone so I can put it into videos. I have iMovie which I edit my vlogs on, Fonto, Gravy, I think that's how you pronounce it, Pocket Video which I use for green screens, Eraser also for thumbnails, Boomerang, and Into Live which is a really good app. You turn a video into a three touch picture which is cool. So, I also have Pandora, which I listen to music on. I have Clue, which is a period tracker, which I really recommend if you guys need help with stuff like that and just keeping track. And then the Bible. So, those are all of the apps that I have on my phone. So, that is everything that is on my phone. Um, I don't really know what else I can say about this phone. I really like it. People say that they don't like it because it looks like an Android, but I don't really see, like, I don't know. I don't know. People say it looks like an Android, so they don't want it, but it's really cool, actually. And they say the camera's ugly. How is the camera ugly? Like, this is just my personal opinion, but the camera's actually really good, and if you get the iPhone X, people are going to be coming up to you. Ooh, can you take my pictures to post on Instagram? I've already been through it. But, yeah, I really like it. Although it may look like an Android, it's a really nice phone. It has really good quality. And I just really like it a lot. Um, it's like moving from an iPhone 7 Plus to an iPhone X. It's weird because the home button, like, I don't know, you want to press the home button, but yeah, overall, I really like this phone, and if you guys are wanting to get it and thinking about getting it, I recommend that you guys do. It's a really cool phone, and I don't know, there's no other phone really like it, so you guys should go ahead and grab you an iPhone X if you are able to. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, as well as clicking the little subscribe button down below, as well as the little bell and that'll update you guys whenever I post a video. Like I said, I have been gone for a really long time, but that will not be the case anymore because for one, I have a lot of good ideas for you guys. For two, I have been in the swing of things at school. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that I'm back and I hope you guys are too. And I'll be sure to let you guys know 
how everything is going in my next video. So be sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.